Thanks, Carvel. There is and has been strong reaction to these sorts of incidents of abuse against children. Families of all murdered victims said Candy Gibson believes more assistance must be given to single mothers. As it stands now, she says the realities of life that burden these women can sometimes put their children at risk. We now seeking the government or private entities. Let's have a 24-hour nursery, a 24-hour child care for children. Because as single mothers, we go to work. Some of us work in two and three jobs to make sure rent, mortgage, light bill, make sure these children are ready for back to school. And we leave our children, you know, with any son, an older sibling or any adult. Sometimes we, we don't even really take notice of who we leave our children. We just got to go on a job because we have bills to pay. Reactions also strong among, among men we talked to. Neville Sears and Mervyn Darling of Montel Heights both want to see harsher punishments against men who inflict pain and trauma on women and children. I have children of my own. And when it happens to someone else's children, it's my child as well too. For those who are concerned about these children, this is the future of our nation, man, and you got to look out for them. And, and we, we, we neighbors have to live neighborly. You know, they say uh, it takes a village to grow a child, and, and we should get back to that. You know, we see something, say something. This disregard for human life, for the nature of, of, of women, and abuse and harassment and violence against women, children, babies, and adults is, 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 is not, not going to be something that we could, should not, and ever stand for. And we have to speak up and speak truth into power.